Welcome back, everybody. We gotta keep our voices down here. What do we got? Oh, we got one there. Geth patrolling down there. Oh no, I hit the wrong gun out! Is my gun jammed? Oh no, I sw I switched! Crap! Why do I do stupid things like this? Why do I do stupid things like this? I just wanted to look at it, and I ended up switching onto it, because I'm a derp. <laughs> well, at least you get to see the new gun. And it's so friggin' heavy that... the hell is this thing I have on me now? I didn't even know I brought a pistol with me. I really screwed up. It's alright. We're, we're gonna get through this. Like Togaf always does. I meant I wanted to show off new stuff. That's why I changed everything over. Interesting. A little pea shooter. There is still a firefight going on. Hello. Ah, Liara! Or was oh Tali, never mind. It was Tali, you're okay. You're allowed to run in front of me. I don't mind it. That was my in fact that was my fault. I shouldn't have been trying to snipe from there. There, the anti aircraft gun. Oh. Let's look at the gun's control panel for a way to shut it off. Okay. Can you guys shut it off while I scavenge? Maybe? No? Okay, I'll do it. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. <sighs> Tali, you're our best bet on it. You'll be a lot faster with it. Tally, you take the guns. No problem. Obviously, I realize it probably doesn't make a difference, but I'd like trying to put myself into the story that, you know, you've got your tech expert. Yes, dropping from orbit. Where? What? Oh, god damn. Stay on him, Liara. Let me see if I can't get rid of the...
can you... No, oh, you're already doing everything you can against him. So this is a cool little gun. You you can either charge it up or uh, rapid fire it. I like it. All right, we're clear. Cleared. All right. Let's proceed with some caution. Assault rifle magazine upgrade. Med kit. Awesome. Okay. Really should have used my metagel, I guess, before med kitting, but whatever. Can I disable this? I can. What is that? Shotgun Shredder mod. Yeah, we got plenty of them, don't we? Someone's still alive! You... You heard my message. Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There were so many. First time I even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medigel. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower, and you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please, listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Corus can get us out alive. And my son, tell him. Tell Jonah that his father made it. To the home world. We will. Rest well, Dorn has the Vasrenok. Let's get to that tower. Come on. Yeah, thinner. Come on, Gap. Where are you at? Ho! Oh! Turret! Gap Pyro. Assault Trooper. Got him. I 
really should have gotten a head cover there, guys. Oh! Pew 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 pew. Let's look at the gun's control panel for a way to shut it off. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? Tali, you did the last one. I'm working on it. More incoming guests. Good job. Good job. Get at the door. Ah, Geth Primes. You got him? Stay smart here. Oh! Jump it back. Got him? Alright. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? Tally. I want you on this, Tally. Right. Come on! Alright, let's bomb this tower. I'll signal the shuttle. Jordan didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't. Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No. The gears have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. Not an option. My people are not combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them. God damn. Shit. Ah. 
I hate sacrifice choices like these. We need him. We need him. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Can't save everybody. There's the Admiral. We have to hurry. I've got this. Hell yeah. Ah! Get there then. Hello, this is Ralph Chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello, <sighs> we've got to go. <sighs> Sorry, I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> Sorry. Unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains in the state? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. <coughs> Commander, Excuse we've me. located the Reaper base, transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to Creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth beautiful, indicative of life. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified. 
And they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. <laughs> Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted. That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes. It should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Get Fighter Squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. Let's do this. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So pull them back. If I withdraw now, the guests will flank us and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need... Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. Hey, honey. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later. Sure. Do you have anything uh, special you want to say? Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Well, like I mentioned earlier, the Turians are getting stretched thin, even with Krogan help. God. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sir Kesh. But the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. We saw Yogg back on Sirkesh. Didn't look too happy. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Beyond those reports I mentioned, no. Instability along the Geth border is all we've heard. In this war, that could mean anything. What about the Batarians? What happened to the Batarians? <clears throat> Never stood a chance. Hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogans sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Oh. Any word on the Volus? No. Sorry. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show... Do you know anything about the Hanar and Drell? Their luck is holding. For now, the Reapers have avoided a direct invasion of that sector. Though we've heard Drell wet war teams are mobilizing fast to shore up their border with the Solarians. I knew a Drell. The Reapers don't want to tangle with them. <laughs> Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A I don't think so. The Reapers. I don't think so. The elusive man implied as much. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. I don't think you're so. You're trying to take the Citadel by force like that. It doesn't make sense. And then attempting to derail your Turian Krogan alliance? That tells me their agenda has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. Is wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. 
Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Had that female Krogan you rescued survived, she might have rallied more support from the clans. <sighs> I know. Take what we can get. I'm glad you disabled that mom and Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. What about the Rachni? We're giving this a shot, letting whatever it was you saved work on the Crucible. And? Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, great. It frankly scares the hell out of me, of everyone. I hope you made the right choice there, Shepard. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorcha, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Darner Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. How about the Solarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. Plus, she seems to like you for getting her that job that got us an STG task force. Nice. I guess they managed to overlook the genophage cure. What about the Asari? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. Nice. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. All right. Well. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Let's go upgrade our weapons. As I do want to upgrade them quick. And then uh, we'll cut the video and then we'll come back and destroy some more gets. Beep boop 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 beep beep boop boop boop. You've got new messages, Commander. <sighs> of course I do. My cousin. Uh, the civilian fleet has gravely returned our admiral to us. I mourn those who fell in the homeworld, but Zalkoros stopped many vessels from flying past the waiting guns of the Geth. The admiral told me you met my cousin Dorn Hast on Renak. It means much to me that Dorn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander. Oh, God. You just feel like you want to save everybody. Where is that... Not the fail. The disciple, we uh, chakram revenant. What about the geth rifle? Is that not? Can we not upgrade that? I guess that's not one we can upgrade. The arc pistol was pretty good, though. I like that. Oh, there it is. God, I can't read. Oops. Alright. We've got that stuff all upgraded up nicely. Let's head back. Let's cut and go. As always, folks, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching. Folks. Admiral Corus has the civilian fleet back in position.